This year, every Republican candidate for president has supplied more than a few attack ads that Democrats could run against Donald Trump. And last week, Democrats for the first time began to worry that Bernie Sanders might have made the mistake of giving the Republicans ammunition against Hillary Clinton if she becomes the Democratic presidential nominee. First, he said she wasn't qualified to be president because of her positions on issues. And then he shifted the discussion yesterday from qualifications to judgment. You look at where she is getting her money from Wall Street and other powerful special interests. She voted for the war. She cited Henry Kissinger, in a sense, as a model uh, for her. Uh, I think those issues uh, will tell the American people uh, that, in many respects, she may have the experience uh, to be president of the United States. No one can argue that. But in terms of a judgment, uh, something is clearly lacking. Joining us now, Jim Hightower, former national radio commentator and publisher of the populist political newsletter, The Hightower Lowdown. He's a Bernie Sanders supporter. Also with us, Howard Dean, former governor of Vermont, former DNC chairman and a Hillary Clinton supporter. He's also an MSNBC political analyst. Jim Hightower, what is the difference between unqualified or having bad judgment? Well, I, I think all that just misses the point. I mean, there, there are genuine differences in policies that uh, candidates have. That's why we have elections, so we can explore those things. Uh, you know, I, I'm not against Hillary Clinton. Uh, I want to be clear about that. I'm, I, what I am for is a person who might run for president who would stand for the workaday people of this country, not only standing for them, but also be willing to be against the special interest powers particularly the moneyed interests in our country, corporate interests, that are running roughshod over the workaday people uh, of our country. I'm talking about the plutocrats, the autocrats, the kleptocrats, who are knocking down the middle class and uh, uh, holding down the poor uh, in our country. So to me, that's why I'm involved, and you know, as a Texan, you know, traveling uh, 1,500 miles or so up here to New York, where I am tonight, uh, for Bernie, uh, and uh, by the way, about 50 degrees Fahrenheit uh, in, 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 the, in the process, uh, to, uh, because this is a guy that is unique to me, uh, so somebody who is really trying to create a, a growing grassroots movement uh, to challenge uh, the powers that be on behalf of the powers that ought to be, the ordinary workaday people of the country. And Bernie's doing a terrific job of that. He has done this, by the way, for 35, 40 years, from mayor of Burlington, uh, Vermont, to member of the House, Senate, and now running for president. He's got a, a genuineness to him and integrity uh, that is appealing to people, and particularly, by the way, to young people. It's interesting to me that he's the oldest candidate running for president, yet he is the youngest candidate uh, running for president. Uh, that's why he has this extreme, uh, exciting appeal uh, with the young people who are, after all, the future not only of the Democratic Party, most of them are not even Democrats. Uh, they don't know for sure what they are in ideology, but they know what they are in terms of the issues that Bernie is raising, the issues about money and power in our country. And that's why he's catching fire. Well, it didn't take Republicans long to try to use Bernie Sanders against Hillary Clinton. Let's listen to Donald Trump tonight. Now he's saying bad things about Hillary, and he's really correct. He says she doesn't have the judgment to be president. And you know what? She got us into Libya. You look at Benghazi. You look at her war in Iraq, the yes vote. The one thing I agree, he's absolutely right. Hillary Clinton does not have the judgment to be president. Howard Dean, uh, you know, when I was watching the Republican campaign earlier, I, I start, what, the first time they started attacking Trump, I started looking at things going, okay, that's going straight into an ad if Trump is the nominee. That's going straight into a Democratic ad. Now you have a file so big you can't even keep track of all the attacks. Uh, against Trump from Republicans. But just in this last week, uh, it, it, we've seen the first material that Republicans think they can use against Hillary Clinton from Bernie Sanders if she gets the nomination. You know, th there's always danger of that in this stage of the campaign. At this point of the campaign, it looks like Bernie's got a real struggle to win. That starts to make people very cranky on both sides. Uh, Bernie's saying some much tougher—I've never actually seen Bernie run a campaign 
that's a negative campaign before. Uh, and, it, he, you know, he's in trouble, and he's got to win New York and so forth and so on. And he's saying he's being much tougher than he was. Hillary's hitting back. This is the kind of stuff that goes on in the end stage of campaigns. I'm not very worried about it. I have to say, um, I, I agree with about 90 percent of what Jim says, even though I'm supporting Hillary. I do think Bernie's done a lot for this race. I don't think he's going to win, and I think we're going to see that in the next few states as it comes up. But he has he is an important figure in American politics, and I think for a good reason. Let's listen to what Hillary Clinton said today uh, in Queens talking about Bernie Sanders. I have noticed uh, that under the bright spotlight and scrutiny here in New York, Senator Sanders has had trouble answering questions. He's had trouble answering questions about his core uh, issue, namely dealing with the banks. He's had trouble answering foreign policy questions. And uh, so I look forward to a debate that is in New York uh, with people asking the kind of questions that New Yorkers ask. Jim Hightower, how do you respond to what Hillary Clinton just said? Well, I mean, this is honest politics to me. Uh, you know, uh, she, she says uh, well, he's had trouble answering questions. Well, she has, too. She can't answer the questions about those Wall Street uh, uh, money that she's been taking and about the $250,000 speech uh, lectures that she's been giving to, uh, to Goldman Sachs uh, and et cetera, uh, and her refusal to release the transcripts uh, of, uh, of those discussions uh, that she's having. Uh, with them. She's had trouble uh, answering questions about her uh, support of the Iraqi uh, invasion. Uh, so, I, I, yeah, I mean, th this is legitimate politics uh, to me. This doesn't bother me. Uh, again, I'm not looking to, to what's dividing Hillary and, and Bernie. I'm looking to what the future of America might be. And that's what I'm seeing in Bernie Sanders. He's offering a vision that is an FDR style vision, an FDR strong vision of what America could be. And that's why, if, if you go to those rallies, I mean, it's not just that he's got huge numbers of people turning out. I, I was in uh, uh, Binghamton uh, this morning with uh, about 5,000 uh, people there, I was 6,000 people with 2,000 outside. Uh, in Albany, and then we were just down in uh, in Buffalo uh, with uh, some 12,000 people turned out, uh, most of whom could not get even into the into the hall. They're not there uh, to hear a political speech. They're there because they are mad as hell about the powers that be running roughshod over them. Uh, you know, I think the, there's... The, I'm, I'm talking. I'm talking about the 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 bosses and the bankers and the uh, the big shots and the bastards and the BSers. Uh, who think that uh, they're the top dogs and we're just a bunch of fire hydrants out there. Let Those me, are the people who are coming to these rallies, and they want big change in America, not, uh, not okay, a me, little tweaking of the system. Let me get a quick last word here from Howard Dean. Yeah, I, I just think, you know, the reason I'm supporting Hillary is I think it is true that I think Bernie is very progressive and stands up for the, a lot of things that are important. It also is true that he does not have a track record of being able to do much about it, and I think Hillary will. I think Hillary Ooh. gets that the banks are a real problem. I think Hillary gets that Citizens United is an enormous problem. I'm looking for somebody who's actually going to do something about some of this stuff. Jim Hightower, Bernie yeah. Sanders supporter, and Howard Dean, Hillary Clinton supporter, and Bernie Sanders constituent. Thank you both very much for joining us tonight. Really appreciate it.